I'm going to show you how to do a bacterial smear. You're going to have to do this before you do any type of staining, whether it's a gram stain, simple stain, spore stain. The purpose of it is you've got to get the bacteria on the slide before you can stain it so you can see it. Now, what there's different ways of doing this. I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way is going from a liquid uh, broth that's E. coli. It's growing in a test tube. We're going to flame our loop, let it cool a bit. Uh, you can see this tube is cloudy. That means you've got nice growth in there of the E. coli. So you may want to mix it up just a little bit to get it more evenly distributed. Sometimes it'll settle at the bottom of the tube if it's been sitting for a while. Flame the lip of the tube. Go in with our sterile needle. You don't need very much. Flame the tube. You get really good at being able to close those lids with one finger. Then you're going to go to your uh, slide and just literally smear the sample on that slide. You're going to flame your lip again because you need to kill whatever was on any of the remaining E. coli. So that's the smear, but now we have to do what we call heat fixing it. To heat fix it, we're just going to pass the slide through the flame. And that's the helpful thing of putting a clothes pan on the slide and still hanging on to it with the end of your fingers. Gives you a little more distance between that flame and your fingers. I usually just kind of go one, two, three, pass it through. What that heat fixing is going to do are three things. It's going to kill the organism on the slide. It is going to help adhere or stick the organism to the slide. And it's also going to make the cell wall, the bacteria, more permeable for the stain. So the stain's going to stick better to it. So that's going from a liquid culture to a slide. And once we've heat fixed it, we're just going to let it sit here on the tray for staining a little bit later. The other way is coming from a solid medium. So we have a Petri dish here. We have flamed our loop, let it cool for a bit. This organism on the Petri dish is Bacillus megatarium. And so now we're going to go, and if you want to see if your loop is cool enough, you can always kind of once again touch on the side a bit. We're just going to take a little bit of sample. This, as you can see, grows quite well. Take a sample from the plate once again. Now some people will add a little drop of water. I tend to just smear the sample on just like you did with the liquid culture. Flame your loop. And once again, you always have to heat fix. If you do not heat fix, it's passing through the flame. That's what helps stick the bacteria to the slide. If you don't do that, I have had students in the past where they go to do the staining and then go look at it and there's nothing there because then they go, oops, I forgot to heat fix. Do we really need to do that? Yes, you do.